I've not been opportune to speak with him. You know, I don't have any issue with him. I respect him and I'll continue to do so. I'm only challenging the process in which he was declared winner. Because that process is wrong. And that process must be corrected. I believe that things must be done rightly. We must follow the law, rule of law. We must have a society where things are done in a decent, organized manner. Especially as we're trying to build this new nation that will be exemplary and the world will take us serious. I respect us. Number two is that what you see as ethnic strife is just people trying to hide under what does not exist to cause confusion. There's no such. The vote that got in Lagos, I said it earlier without knowing you were going to got across everybody in Lagos from the colleagues, Yorubas, Ibos, Alsas, Jijons, and all the tribes that are resident in Lagos for the me. I can tell you that I have a lot of people who I know have truly Yoruba, who are actually supporting me 24 hours. And it shouldn't be. In 2003, Oma Sanjo got over 90% of the votes in the entire Southeast. That's why the fact that our own revered leader, Ojuku, was contested. Nobody shouted at anybody. Nobody said, I won't do business with the Yorubas or with the Northerners or with anybody. He fell in the Yoruba land. But we gave him more votes in the Southeast, even when our own revered leader was contesting. Nobody quarreled with it. We have Yoruba people who live in the East. Don't think that it's the only year. I can tell you now, nature, where I live, two prominent people that I deal with are completely from the Southwest. And they were there. Nobody harassed them. There were people doing their business who have the material right to vote whoever they want. 